This is Danny with Quad Lugs uh, for the tricopter. Uh, if you go by the uh, quick build guide and it's uh, one through 10, um, all the quad legs build the same. Uh, just a couple of differences uh, with each uh, different kit. But um, obviously with a tricopter, the one boom and back instead of two, or motor arm lug instead of two. And what we do, we center it in the back, or that's what I do, center it in the back, and uh, you get your swivel mount that fits on. And we have a video on the swivel mount on how to put it together, um, on how to put it together. And um, you know, you can refer to that also. The other thing that's a little bit different on this one is that we have the cross T, as I call it, and that connects the back uh, motor arm lug to the front two, and this is the what I call the cross T here. It gets mounted, and of course you line it up with your back boom, which normally runs in the center of these two also, and uh, you'll get the uh, you know, a uh, cross member here also with the kit if you buy the kit. If not, you know, that's a piece you'll have to furnish, obviously. And then you also, with this kit, uh, you get two battery mounts. And these battery mounts come with um, some spacers. And what the spacers do is that it puts it on top of this cross piece here. And um, it um, makes a real nice install this way. And I normally turn the fuzzy part, I guess you would call it, of the um, of the um, Velcro up, and uh, the battery uh, pushes down on this, and then uh, whenever you tighten it up, it all locks in together. Or you can run the um, uh, Velcro underneath the motor mount, and you'll see when you see the motor mount that it can either go on top of it here or underneath it, the hole goes through on each side. And uh, you put a piece of Velcro onto the motor mount here and here, and then put it on your battery also, and once you put your battery, it holds it in place, and then you just tighten it up with the uh, straps here. So that's the other difference on here, and you know, you can put these space them out how you want them, but uh, you'll get the spacers for that, and uh, that's, takes care of the battery mount. Other than that, I set the motor arms at 60 degrees, 6 degrees from the front, uh, going back um, on each side, or if you're at the uh, right angle here, 30 degrees, you know, this way. Um, the ESCs I mount underneath the uh, deck here, um, instead of putting them on the arm or spreading them out, and what I've, uh, you know, it just makes it a little bit neater, but you can do that again any way you want to. What I've been doing here lately is uh, I've 3D printed some uh, holder here, uh, a holder rather, and they slide in like this. And it sits them upright and takes a little bit less room and it's real good, uh, it gets good ventilation across them. If you want to do it this way, and you know you don't have this piece here that you can 3D mount, we don't furnish this yet. But if you'll email me, I mean, I could uh, or put a comment on your order uh, if you order the kit. You know, I could definitely furnish one. You know, throw one in there for you. But if not, you can just use dowels and you know glue them to the to the bottom, or you can use uh, screws. You know, obviously, you know, just screw them in or a bolt and screw it in. But I would recommend a dowel. But if you'll leave a note, if you uh, either buy uh, when you buy the kit uh, or when you purchase the kit, leave a note and, and I'll be more than happy to, to furnish that for you if you choose to do it this way. Of course, you can put them anywhere as you want, you know. Um, but it's making a real nice, uh, uh, looking really nice uh, by doing it this way. This one's a little bit different than the one I just showed you and the one I've been flying is that uh, actually it's not going to be under the deck on this one. I'm not even going to have a deck on this one. I'm going to put the controller right in front of it here. And I'll show you this whenever it's completed and uh, show you some uh, completed build and a, uh, some flight footage on it. 
And again, you might be able to see a little bit clearer here without the battery mounts being on, is that the uh, cross piece here and the uh, uh, reinforcement wood here that's going to the back. So anyway, that's about it on this. You know, single arm and back, the uh, swivel mount. There's a video out on the swivel mount and I'll put it at the tail end of, of this um, video here also. And uh, just go by the quick build guide, um, you know, as far as putting it together, uh, the, the, the try together, they all go together the same. And then the other part is that, you know, we run 60 degrees on, on the uh, booms in front, 60 degrees front to back. And you'll have the cross piece and you'll have the battery mounts with the spacers. So that's about it on it. It's, it's uh, not much difference they all build the same like I was saying and uh, the oh the other thing is that when you put the deck down um, and again put it all together the deck goes in after it's all put together and screwed uh, because you'll have to trim this deck and if you watched a quick build guide it, it'll show you uh, on installing the deck that you'll you know you put all this together screw it in screw these uh, and then the deck goes in and you trim it, put it in. And this one will get an ex extra screw uh, here. That's another difference on this, uh, on the try, an extra screw here. And what that's doing is tying it, the deck, into the, through the cross member and into this cross piece here. And uh, everything else is the same. So, um, Give it a try. I think you're going to really like this uh, try. Like, like I was saying, uh, said it a couple of times, I never did care for tries in the past too much. Uh, but I'm going to be well honest with you. After uh, I've uh, flown this one, I tell you, I love this thing. Uh, I was just out today and uh, we had some 22 and 23 mile an hour winds. And uh, I tell you, this thing flies you can fly it in it, no problem. It, it really flies. Now you have to compensate, obviously, for the wind a little bit, um, but uh, it'll handle it. It flies, uh, I flew it uh, three batteries worth. I burned three batteries in it today. But anyway, um, there you go. Uh, check us out at quadlugs.com and uh, give this thing a try. I think you're really gonna like it. And like with all the quad lugs, you build this one. If you want a, um, a quad, you need another arm, another motor mount, another leg, a little bit of wood, move it over, and you have you a, uh, a quad. So it's, uh, it can be anything you want, and, and uh, please keep that in mind. It's not just a try. Uh, if a couple of minutes are actually a minute, minute and a half, you loosen these two screws here and it's a T. You just move the arm to 90 degree, it's a T. Um, so please remember that this right here is not just a try. Um, it can be most anything you want, the V-tail also. So uh, that's the good thing with quad lugs is that you're not stuck with one um, uh, uh, multi-rotor. It can be anything you want, it's up to you. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is Danny with Quad Legs, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thank you.